It's a gorgeous place. Uh, it's 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 almost like petting a lion. It's gorgeous. It's very beautiful until it's dangerous. Almost like petting a lion. I know, right? right? It's exclusive right here on 2 News Tonight. We're hearing from the lone survivor from a group who encountered flash flood conditions in Kane County's Buckskin Gulch Slot Canyon. This happened in March. Now, there have been numerous fatalities in the area this spring due to flash flooding. Brian Schnee has covered this extensively for us right here on 2 News and spoke with a man who survived the flash flood waters while his two friends did not. Physically, uh, how are you doing? I'm coming along. Every day is a new day. In mid-March, Ed Smith was in Utah. Should we just land and see if we can walk up to him? I just don't want to get stuck in there. You know, you can't dwell on it. It was a major tragedy for two very close friends that, that I considered brothers of mine. Smith was hiking a multi-day trip through Buckskin Gulch in Kane County with Jeff Watson and Bill Romaniello. Preparing for combat, preparing for all that was exactly how we prepared for the Slot Canyon. It was, we didn't prepare any different. Ed, who served in the Air Force for 22 years, says he and his group prepped for the Slot Canyon trek for a year with the right gear and plenty of long hiking trips. To say that we were prepared is honestly kind of an understatement, but you're never prepared for fate for Mother Nature. The trio planned to hike a route that spanned more than 40 miles from Wire Pass to Lee's Ferry. Lee's Ferry is on the bottom of your screen here. They began their trip Friday, March 10th. They intended to reach Lee's Ferry by the Colorado River in Arizona by Sunday night. Now, Ed told Kane County Sheriff's deputies they were hit by a flash flood early Saturday. You know, if you go to a water park and you jump on a water slide and you get swept down the water slide, that's, it's like that, but with more rocks and more danger. Ed and Jeff were able to get free from the flood and regroup. They searched for Bill, but they couldn't find him. Jeff couldn't go any further due to a leg injury, so Ed continued on by himself to try and get help. Can I sheriff's office dispatch? Uh, I have a, a wife called for her husband missing. Uh, he was out with hiking bucks and golf shoes. It's nice to hear from them last night. I'm getting this out to my search and rescue commander right now. On Monday morning, Kane County Dispatch got a phone call regarding three overdue hikers. The search began. He's waving to us for sure. That's him. By late Monday afternoon, a DPS helicopter spotted Ed waving for help. I've seen the video, obviously, of you waving for him and and then getting hoisted up. Have you seen the video? I have. Keep coming right there. Laying down now. I mean, waving at them, laying down, I was giving them as big of a picture as I could give them in such a small, narrow window that they could, could see me. Down, down. He's hooked up. Go ahead, take a little three, two, one, power check. Oh, that's good. You know, they came down, they got me, they got me warmed up right away. After they hoisted Ed out of the canyon, yeah, I see that gear. rescue crews continued looking for Bill and Jeff. I didn't see any footprints in the bottom when I was in there. Within the next day or so, both men were found, but they did not survive. In spite of the tragedy, Ed is beyond grateful for the rescue crews who saved his life. Laying down now. You can't control Mother Nature. You can't control fate. So just make sure all of your ducks in a row back home uh, for all that should something bad happen. Ed told me he doesn't intend to stop hiking or exploring, but he will likely tone down the intensity level a bit. He plans to visit Utah again to meet the rescue volunteers from Kane County and the others who were involved with that multi-day rescue operation. Ed wanted to not only emphasize how vital our first responders are, but he hopes others who plan to tackle some of the unique and dangerous recreational opportunities in our state will be well prepared physically and mentally for what Mother Nature could throw their way. Brian Schnee, KUTV2 News.